Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code by weekly font is 115. Uh, it's a medium level problem. And yeah, I would say it's relatively on the easier side. Um, and we'll, we'll see why, we'll, we'll see why, right? So it says that you are given an integer n, a zero index string array words and a zero index binary array groups. Uh, both arrays have length n, right? What do you need to do? You need to select the longest subsequence from an array of indices 0 to n minus 1. So you have n elements, right? What do you have to do? You have to select a subsequence of the elements, right? Such that for the subsequence denoted like this. So suppose you select k elements, right? So these are the indices of the sus subsequence. So group ID of gth element in the subsequence is not equal to the group ID of j plus 1th element. That means two consecutive elements in the subsequence that you have selected should not have the same group ID. Okay. Return a string array containing the words corresponding to the indices in the selected subsequence. If there are multiple answers, return any one of them. Now, again, this is an easier version of the third problem in the same contest, right? Obviously, it has more conditions. But as I told in that video, here also, they could have made the problem tough or relatively better by saying that if there are multiple answers, return probably the, uh, you know, lexographically smallest one or the largest one, right? A subsequence of an array is a new array that is formed from the original array by deleting some or possibly null elements without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining elements. Note, string in words may be unequal in length, right? So, again, these are the three words. Group IDs are 0, 0, 1, right? What do you have to do? You have to select a subsequence, basically the longest subsequence such that it follows the given condition. What is that condition? The condition is the subsequence that you select in that subsequence, no two consecutive elements should have the same group IDs, right? Simple stuff. So here what we'll do, just see, can we select these two? No, because these two have same group IDs. Can we select these two? Yes, A and B can be selected, great. Can we select E and B? Yes, we can select. So these are the two possibilities. Both of them have length two. You can return any one, one of them as the answer, right? Again, the lexographically smaller one is this. They have not asked this one in the question. But yeah, if you want to do that, you can return this as well, right? Similarly, A, B, C, D. This is group 1. This is 0. This is 1. This is 1, right? Now, what we need to do? Uh, what are the elements that we can select? Just see. If I select this one, can I select this? Yes. If I've selected 0, can I select this? Yes. Great. A, B, C is one option. Okay, if I select this, can I select this? Yes. Can I select this? Yes. A, B, D is also an option. Getting it? So there are multiple ways you can do it, right? There are multiple ways. So A, B, C is one of the possible answers. Overall, this is an easier version because you can simply follow a greedy approach. You can simply follow a greedy approach here because it's always beneficial to just see the current index and see whether you can pick it or not, right? You can pick it or not. You always try to pick the maximum number of elements. For example, these are the elements you have. Okay. Always pick the first element. Remember the group IDs here are just from 0 to 2. Again, they have made the problem very easy. So you always pick the first element. Whatever is the group ID, we are not concerned about that. Suppose the group ID is 1. Now you go to the next element. You just see what's the previous uh, group ID I selected? 1. What is this? If it is not equals to 1, just select it. Just select it and update your previous ID. Go to the next element. Just see whatever is the ID here, group ID here. Is it equals to the previous that you have selected? If not, select it. Getting it? This is how you need to do. Now, some of you might think that will it always give us the optimal answer or not? Maybe we have to find dynamic programming. We have maybe we have to, you know, generate all the subsequences and try out different answers. Yes, valid point, valid point. But just writing some of the case, test cases will show you that actually it's not that of a complex problem. A greedy approach works here in every case. Why? Let's see this one. These are some of the elements that I have. Okay. These are some of the elements. Now you may think that we are always picking up the first element. What if, can we get a, an optimal answer um, or can we get a non-optimal answer when we select the first element? So just think logically, just think logically. The group ID, how many values the group ID can have? Zero and one only two values. Yes, if there are more values, this was not the correct solution. But if there are only two values, just see, there are only two values. It makes the problem very easy. For example, for example, my friends, suppose the first element is zero. 
right the first element is zero so what will be your approach if the subsequent elements are also zero you'll skip them and as soon as you see an element one you'll pick it you'll not wait for the next one to take it you'll pick the first one right if till here you have seen the elements you'll always try to pick the first element first element that is favorable for you getting it similar is the case if you start with one okay if you start with one if these are one skip it and as soon as you get a zero just pick it you'll not wait for one more zero that okay after i'll not pick this zero i'll pick this zero no 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 that is not going to give you the longest length again i am reiterating had it been more than two group ids this was not the correct solution because maybe the choice that you are making is not good for the subsequent elements but here it is okay right so because of this reason these are the two possibilities because of this reason just see every time what you are doing you are trying to pick the element if it is favorable so similarly for index number zero as well i will always pick this element right i'll always pick this element if it's zero i'll keep on moving first i'll pick zero i'll keep on moving i'll find the first one then i'll keep on moving i'll find the first zero i'll keep on moving i'll find the first one this is what the approach is similar to this if the first element is zero, one i'll keep on moving till i find the first zero keep on moving till i find the first one keep on moving till i find the first zero so that is why we always pick the first element okay that's the reason so this problem is relatively <coughs> sorry very easy you just take an <coughs> sorry array list previous is initialized by the first elements group you add the first element in the answer as well because you need to return the answer right <coughs> iterate from the first uh, like the second element index starts from zero right so i equals to one is the second element i goes from one to words dot length group id of i if the current words group id is not equal to the previous that you have selected that means it's a favorable case add it to your answer update your previous finally return your answer and then we are done right so the only trick my friends to to observe here is you have only two values or of group ids that makes the problem very easy now you just go to the third problem of this very contest i've already created a video there this is not the case and there we follow dynamic programming getting it and in that video we have already we have also discussed how to reduce you know a very this problem into a very popular problem that is longest increasing subsequence okay but i hope you learn something new from this video that uh, how to take these observations into you know consideration and see whether uh, like what's the approach to follow so you just see just one constraint and a greedy problem changes to dp and a dp problem changes to greedy getting it so this is how you basically see these small things and try to you know approach the problem okay so yeah have fun do let me know if you used any other approach to solve this problem do share your solutions in the comment section so that we all can learn from each other right uh, have fun i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye